Hello everybody, and welcome back to Prometheus. Today, as always, we got some work to do. I made my way back to this connection tunnel. Uh, we're in the middle of an ash storm currently, so it's a little dark, difficult to see. Um, but I am going to take this opportunity to grab up all the titanium that we have in here and also all of this obsidian that I totally missed the first time I came through here. So I'm sure more than a few of you were frustrated that I was just running past all this obsidian into the dangerous depths of the lava biome, but yeah, we're back and we're here to claim our prize. So I'm going to go ahead, gather up as many resources as I can in this cave, grab this obsidian, and talk a little bit more about our plans for these resources once we've taken care of that chore. Let's get to work. I'm also going to grab up some platinum because we're going to need that pretty soon. And just like that, level 45. Nothing to it. Let's keep on going with the grind here, and I'll be with you guys as soon as we have a backpack full of amazing resources. Alright, so we made it all the way to the other side of the cave. We are back at the Basalt Expansion. I don't have any plans on really adventuring out there for now, so let's just make our way back and pick up any scraps um, that we left. Right now we have a really good amount of platinum and a decent amount of titanium. Uh, 76 obsidian. I'm going to want to see if we can get a little bit more obsidian. Um, but we are looking pretty good on what we need for our project today. So I'm going to head on back, gather a few more resources. Let's get this copper while we're here. Never enough copper. Um, and I will be with you guys as soon as I have mopped up some of the stuff in this cave. Whoa. Collision physics, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so I do have some stone building pieces here, fortunately. Uh, that was very frightening. Let's just slowly make our way out of this predicament we're in. Alright. Icarus, everybody. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Playing some catch here. <laughs> Alright. I think that's it for the obsidian. Let's take a quick peek around this corner. Yeah, I think that's it for the obsidian. That's pretty much... Oh, I'm seeing some more over there. So let's get back over there. Hopefully we don't fall through any rocks on the way over there. Very careful. One last obsidian stone. Let's get this. And head on home. Alright, that one's gone. Excellent. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we are out of the cave. It is 4 o'clock in the morning, nice and misty early morning here on Prometheus, and we have a backpack absolutely chock full of resources. So let's get this back to the base and I'll tell you guys what we're up to. Oh, I forgot to mention the reason I was using the stone building pieces is because if you use wooden ones that close to lava, they can just instantly catch on fire. So you're definitely going to want to bring stone pieces if you're going to be building over lava like that. Stone or clay brick, scoria, anything like that. Uh, but flammable materials will get you into big trouble, so be careful. Alright, we are back at the base. We have some of our ores already smelting up. A beautiful sunrise on the horizon is greeting us as we return from a hard night's work. But let's get inside and take a look at some of the stuff that we can start crafting up now that we have all of those resources. So the first order of business is we are going to grab the electric textiles bench and we today 
we're going to be focusing on getting ourselves tier 4 armor. We're finally going to be upgrading from this workshop armor. We'll send this back to the space station because we're not going to need it anymore. We're getting ourselves the real stuff here. So I think to kick things off, now this will allow us to explore the volcanic region and overall this is just a better sort of combat set if you can manage to wear this. Um, pretty much I prefer the composite armor set um, anywhere other than the volcanic biome. The obsidian set is also very good. It gives you of course all that fire resistance, volcanic exposure resistance, so it is just perfectly suited for the volcanic biome. Uh, but the composite set is, you know, it has that 30% health and stamina regen as a set bonus. It has some pretty decent heat and cold resistances, exposure resistance, physical resist. So both of these sets are extremely good and serve two different purposes. Um, but I think for today, since we went through the trouble of getting all of that platinum and all of that obsidian, let's craft up the obsidian armor as our first set here on Prometheus. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock all five of these, and we are going to have some work ahead of us. Uh, the first thing, of course, is we're going to have to get ourselves an electric textiles bench up and running. And with all of that stuff crafting in the background and all of our beautiful food buffs, we are already at level 46. That is so fast. That's awesome. I'm just going to keep doing a few more chores here around the base, and uh, once we get the required resources together, we're going to craft up that electric textiles bench. Alright, and just like that, we are ready to craft up our electric textiles bench. Let's go. That is amazing. That is amazing. Alright, so we are officially graduated from the advanced textiles bench. I'm going to clear out this inventory and get our brand new fancy electric textiles bench down. Alright, there we go. We had to do a little bit of reorganizing here. I put the machining bench over here, uh, the old crafting bench over here, but we have our electric textiles bench up and running. So let's get this baby wired up and take a look at what we need. Alright, we have a storm rolling in here, but I'm feeling good. Let's take a look at our advanced textiles bench. And we can see that we're going to need a lot of platinum weave. Uh, platinum weave costs 2 platinum sheaves and 30 fibers per craft. Um, so I definitely think we have enough platinum for that. Uh, the shaped obsidian, we should have more than enough shaped obsidian as well with all of that mining that we did. It's just a matter of getting that platinum weave and those composites pulled together, and then we will be looking at a brand new set of obsidian armor. So we're going to go ahead and craft up 50 composites. We only need 20 for this armor set, but we're going to need a lot more in the future, so let's just get 50 of those going for now. Get a bunch of our organics going here too. So we need 80 platinum sheaths to make all the platinum weave that we're going to need. So I'm going to get these crafting up as well right now. Let's get our composites cooking up in here. Uh, as you can see, we have a pretty decent amount of titanium from that cave run, so we're going to be pretty stocked on that. Uh, but for now, let's get these composites going. So all of the platinum sheaths are finished crafting. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our platinum weaves going here. We're going to need 40 of those. And also while we're waiting, let's go ahead and take a look at our talents. We've leveled up a few times since we uh, took a look at what we can do here. So let's scroll through and find what we want to do next. So I think we start investing a little bit more in our offense here. So I'm going to put another point into Gun Runner. And then let's go ahead and work our way down here. So Shotgun Damage. Ch chance to craft additional ammo is pretty nice actually, so I'm also going to grab that. Uh, we have 3% more damage right now, 10% reload speed. Um, if we want to start working into these other points, we're going to need to put some more into this. So let's go ahead and get one more point in that, so we're at 5% damage. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give us the 10% damage boost, and then also 
uh, one point in gunsmith. So our guns will start lasting a little bit longer. Very nice, I'm feeling good. We are pretty powerful with the shotgun now. And then for our solo points, I'm going to put one more point into melee damage, so we're at 10% melee damage as a backup. And then one more point into physical resistance here, make our survivability a, bit, a little bit better out here on, on hard mode. And with all that platinum going, I'm also going to go ahead and grab the Beehive Breeding Center. This will allow us to start creating our own worker bees. And we're also going to get the 20 beeswax going for that. Uh, we have plenty of honeycomb in reserve, so might as well start working on that. And then might as well just go ahead and grab the large beehive expansion too, since we're working on expanding this thing. Just like that, everything is finished crafting for the obsidian armor set. Let's go ahead and get all of these pieces going. This is going to be good. Um, oh, we're short on Platinum Weave, actually. I did, missed it, the calculation. We're going to need a few more of those. Awesome, and then we can get our leg armor. That is awesome. Let's get this on right now. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially equipped with Tier 4 armor, the Obsidian armor set. It is looking awesome. I'm feeling great. So we are really, really starting to take on Prometheus here. We're ready to do the hardest content. We're ready to go deep into the lava zone. We have some great stuff in our future. Alright, let's get our beehive breeding center going here. Awesome. And then also get our large beehive expansion here. Very nice. Let's get these set up. All right, take a look at that. Now, uh, we need to put a queen bee in this top spot, and then we will start getting 0 .05 worker bees per minute. So it's gonna be very slow, um, but we're gonna start having a steady supply of uh, bees on our hand. So that's gonna be very nice. So now that we have our crafted armor up and running, I think it's time we look into getting alterations as well. So alterations basically give you the um, option to create specific attachments for your tools or your armor set uh, that give them boosts in stats. So you're going to want to unlock the uh, tier 3 version of this because you require the uh, lower versions of the upgrades in order to craft the better ones. So we're going to get all of those. And then we will also get the advanced alterations bench, as well as these attachments. So let's try and get ourselves a advanced alteration bench crafted here as well. Uh, but before we do that, we can see the sun is starting to come down. It is nighttime. We're going to be wanting to use a lot of our electricity, so let's go ahead, hit the sack, and pick things back up in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is a bright and beautiful day here on Prometheus, and I am excited to work towards getting ourselves an alterations bench. So, let's get back to the base and get that up and running as soon as we can. So we're going to start requiring a lot of steel. The advanced alterations bench takes 30 of them. So let's craft up all of this, and I'm starting to feel the lack of iron in our reserves here. So we've kind of been ignoring iron for a while. I think it's time we just hit up some of these lower tier caves and just get ourselves an absolute massive amount of iron. And of course in the process get a ton of experience. Alright, but before we head out on that mining run, let's get our advanced alterations bench crafted up here. Very, very nice. And let's get that set up and wired here. The only question is, where do I put it? <laughs> Alright, so I think for now I'm just going to stick it in the middle of the floor right next to our organic processor right there. It's kind of a little bit in the way, but I think it's fine. We can still get around. We can still do everything that we need. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing wired up. All 
right and just like that we have our alterations bench so on the right side uh, this is where you actually add the alterations and then the left side is where you craft them so you can look at the list on the side and sort of filter by what you want um, you know there's the head armor pieces arm legs you can add specific attachments to all of your tools and weapons as well um, but I think for the very first inaugural tool we're about to go out on a big mining run let's look at some pickaxe attachments here so there are some that give you things like uh, extra melee damage like this one I think that'll help you sort of mine through materials quicker uh, this one the attack speed I think this is what I want to go for because it just makes mining 20% faster because you're swinging that pickaxe 20% faster so I think this is what I'm going to go for for now uh, and then there are resource specific ones so 40% yield for mining gold copper platinum and then these ones are sort of the more offensive focused ones I don't know why you would want to put uh, you know electroshock damage or poison damage on your pickaxe maybe I'm missing something um, but I've never really even considered crafting these for the pickaxe uh, and then the last one here, this gives you uh, more yield from titanium. Um, but as I said, I think the very first thing we're going to go for is the advanced attack speed attachment here. Uh, we first need to craft the low tier version of it, and then we can use some carbon fiber and composites uh, to craft the more advanced version. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. So the first thing we're going to craft is the low tier version of it. So we're going to get this crafting up, and then we're going to need some carbon fiber and composites to get the next version. All right, we're just going to get 20 of these crafting up. I seem to always be low on this, so I'm going to craft up a few and then get ourselves that attachment. We are ready to go. Let's get this attack speed attachment crafted up here. Absolutely awesome. So when you have your attachment ready to go, what you're going to do is pull your tool out, stick it in this center slot, and then apply your attachment here. So we'll go ahead and click Alter. And the cool thing about these attachments is you can remove them at any time. It's not permanently stuck to this titanium pickaxe. So if I want to put this on another tool, I can just take it off the titanium pickaxe, stick it on another tool. Uh, and the same goes for all of your armor attachments as well. So if you have multiple armor sets, like the composite and the obsidian. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Very awesome. Uh, but yeah, if you have multiple armor sets, you can swap between them as you see fit, so you're never really locked into using an attachment on one thing once you've attached it. Now, but let's just take a quick look. I mean, you can already tell the difference. This is much faster than it was before. 20% increased attack speed. This is going to be huge in helping us mine through stuff just that much quicker. Loving it. Uh, but with all of that done and dusted, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to the Lava Cavern and just pick up all of the stuff that we left behind. So a ton of iron, a ton of just whatever we can find, we're going to gather it up. And I'm also going to unclog my drills and kill this cougar. Jaguar. I always say cougar instead of jaguar because I play so much on sticks, and they're called stick... Uh, cougars out on sticks, so forgive me for always messing that up. Yeah, I'm going to unclog these and then head on over to the mine. A couple of Drax guarding our staircase here, no problem. Having to repair the staircase every single time is getting a little annoying. I think it's time we start working on maybe getting ourselves some more deep drills set up. And uh, this is clay right here. Uh, there was another clay that we actually found out in the Arctic biome. So I think I want to get a deep drill set up on clay and that way we can get some really easy access to stone tier building materials. Like we can make as many clay ramps as we want using that. Um, but for now, let's focus on mining. So here we are, let's take a look at how fast this goes. wasn't a very good node. <laughs> There's a little remainder spec there, but you can see this thing swings a lot faster now. And we can just chop through these rocks like they're nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and get a ton of iron, little specks of copper here and there, and fill my inventory. 
Oh, and we just leveled up right there. Definitely feeling the power of the fruit muffin, the savory roll, the crispy bacon. We have a ton of boost in our experience gain right now. We could be even more optimal with it, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe we look into replacing our prime meat with something even better. Uh, but for now, prime meat is just so easy to come by. I just like crafting up a bunch of it, sticking in my inventory and not having to worry. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead, mine up all this stuff, and see what we get in the end. Alright, so I also came back to the lava zone over here. You can see that even with the volcanic resistance armor, uh, the obsidian armor, we're still well into the very tip top of the temperature gauge. But, with this armor, lava is nowhere nearly as much of a threat to you. Um, so I'm just going to show you, do not try this at home. But I'm just going to stick my toes in the lava so you can see just how powerful this armor is. But look at that damage. You see how slowly we're taking fire damage? We would be instantly dead if we were in our old armor here. I'm going to jump out because, uh, you know, we're starting to get heat stroke. We're starting to get some serious burns. But, you know, that is the power of this armor. Um, I also don't want to step on my <laughs> wooden ramps quite yet. Let's wait for this fire to go out. All right, we are out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see, we were on fire for that entire time, and we barely took any damage. So the obsidian armor is absolutely a must if you're in the lava zone. It is extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, but with that said, let's get back to mining. Alright, we are totally loaded up on iron now. Take a look at the inventory. I think we're going to be good on iron for a little while with all of this. Um, as soon as we start needing a ton of steel, when we're going to start looking into crafting concrete buildings, um, you know, that iron supply is just going to start to vanish. So we're doing a little bit of an advanced preparation here. We're also going to need some iron for, uh, you know, making steel for some of the crafting benches that we're going to be working on as well. So it's always valuable to have a decent supply of iron in stores, and, you know, we were running low, so I think it's about time we just did a focused run on gathering a ton of iron for ourselves. But yeah, here we are back at our rickety old little wooden staircase here. I definitely think if we're going to be going into that lava biome frequently, we're going to want to upgrade this thing into at least uh, clay or something like that so we don't have to constantly repair it every time we come over here. Also, while we're out here, I'm just curious to see how much experience we get from a blueback. Uh, that actually wasn't that much, that was only 1200 experience. So it's not a aggressive creature. Um, you know, you're going to want to kill something like bears if you want to really farm the experience, but interesting to know. We're also going to need to start crafting up some more ammo for our shotgun and maybe even look into... Oh, this <laughs> Terranus is still here. Uh, maybe even look into doing some of the other ammunition types like explosive or cold steel ammo. Uh, there are a ton of different ammos that you can craft outside of just the regular 12 gauge buckshot. So maybe we take a look at some of those as well. Uh, but for now, the buckshot has been doing us pretty well. Alright, and just like that, our box is absolutely loaded up with iron. We have a ton of platinum as well in here. We're looking good on our stores. Let's just figure out our storage. Now, having completed that mining run, I realize now with our um, alterations bench, we can actually start getting ourselves the pockets attachments. These are some of the best in the game. I would say for your gloves, it's absolutely the best attachment. Um, if you just take a look at the glove attachments here, you know, there is uh, tool action, stamina cost down, and there's like falling resistance. Neither of those two are really that great in my opinion, so best in slot for gloves is 100% sockets. Uh, or 100% pockets, rather. Uh, so you'll get 10% weight capacity and four more inventory slots for every one of the advanced ones you attach. I usually like to attach it to my gloves, pants, and chest. Uh, pants and chest have a few other pretty decent options. Specifically, the armor plating for here for the pants and chest, so you can get much more physical resistance and health regen. And then on the chest, it's actually a tougher choice because you have that advanced armor plating, but you also have the nutrition attachment, which gives you another stomach slot. So you can have five buffs active at one time uh, with this. So what I think I'm going to do for now is get ourselves pockets on the gloves and the pants, and then let's go ahead and do 
the nutrition attachment for the stomach slot. Alright, so we're going to get two pockets attachments crafted up here. Very nice, and then we're going to upgrade both of those into advanced pockets. Absolutely amazing. Okay, and then now, um, for the chest slot, let's go ahead and get the nutrition attachment. That is amazing. Alright, let's get these things attached to our armor ASAP. So for the chest, we'll get the nutrition on there. Awesome, and then let's get our pockets up and running as well. Absolutely awesome. So let's slap this gear on. Now take a look at our inventory space. That is absolutely massive for us. And then we also have the extra slot in our stomach. We could go with pockets on the chest armor piece as well. That would be an additional four slots. That would be very nice. Uh, but for the time being, while well, we're trying to level up, I think more experience gain from an additional food buff is going to be very beneficial to us. We're going to take a massive load of our iron here and get all of this crafting up into steel blooms. We've got 69, very nice. Then now that we have that extra stomach slot, what I think I'm going to do is start crafting up vegetable pies. Um, this is going to be 10 more experience gain plus that... Uh, bonus that we get from our talent. So 30% more on top of that 10, that'll push it up to 13% experience gain from the fruit pie, or from the vegetable pie rather, uh, as well as a boost in max health, stamina, stamina cost, and then melee damage too. So this is going to be a really nice food buff for us. Uh, and it also only takes pastries on top of the vegetables. So crafting bread dough can get very expensive. Uh, we're going to need a lot of flour to do bread dough, so I think that's a really good option as far as foods go. Uh, but in order to get these vegetable pies going, we're going to need to find some soybeans, corn, and squash. Uh, soybeans and corn should grow out in the grasslands, I believe, but the squash is, again, only found in the lava biome, I believe. So we're going to have to make another venture out into the lava biome, but fortunately we are now really well equipped. So. Let's uh, take a little bit of a sleep, and in the morning, let's go out on the hunt for some more veggies. Good morning, everybody. It is another beautiful day here on Prometheus. We have a lot of work ahead of us today, as always. Uh, but for now, we're just doing a little bit of work in the base. I decided that before we go into the lava biome again, we're going to craft up a ton of shotgun bullets. So I got a... Uh, bunch of gunpowder. We're going to make up 80 more shotgun bullets here. So let's get all of these nails and get to work on this. Awesome. And as you can see, we procced that double ammo craft seven times. So we got a free seven shotgun bullets out of that. We have a total of 99 in our inventory. That feels awesome. Now I'm going to do a quick little exploration just right around our base area here. I don't remember seeing any soybeans. Um, I'm not sure actually if they spawn in this part of the biome. I've only really seen tomatoes and some of the other stuff, but uh, what I'm also going to do is start grabbing some uh, coffee and tea, because we're going to probably want to get some of that crafting up as well. Coffee and tea became much more powerful, uh, as discussed in the previous episode. You can, you can drink it uh, slowly over time now, so you can have a really nice buff going for yourself pretty consistently. Um, so I'm just going to go on a quick little explore and see if we can't get ourselves some... Oh, there it is right there, some coffee. There we go, level 48. We are just absolutely flying through the levels right now. I didn't have my uh, extra food buffs on right now because I didn't plan on really doing very much. Just sort of looking for some plants, but uh, that's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and grab this up, and let's head back over to the volcanic biome with our new fancy armor, and see what we can do in terms of... Who's this guy doing? <laughs> see what we can do in terms of getting ourselves some squash. Alright, we have made it back to the basalt expansion. It's my first time going back out here since that horrible experience. Um, all of our ramps are decayed. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can find in terms of plant life. I know that squash spawns out here. Um, I think soybeans might also be a volcanic biome item. 
So we're going to keep an eye out for both of those. Uh, what do we have here? This looks like soybeans. Okay. So I guess I was correct about the soybeans. We got the seeds right there. Now we just got to find ourselves a little bit of squash. And just like that, we found some squash too. And we got four squash seeds. So very quick and easy little trip out here. Uh, we got everything that we need, really. Um, let me just snipe this drac real quick. Um, so the other thing, I don't see any in the sky right now, but the red flying jellyfish, the drifters, they actually drop oxite when you kill them. So I was panicking my brains out last time we were here, dying from asphyxiation, but I could have just been picking off some of those drifters in the sky and we would have been just gravy if I'd taken care of that that way. That was nice and quick. That was really all we came out here for. Um, I don't really feel like doing any caves or anything like that right now. So I'm just going to take these back, see if we can get these growing up, and get ourselves some vegetable rolls for our new expanded stomach. Alright, so I actually spotted some drifters over here. Let's just go ahead and take one out and uh, see what that's all about. We also have a drac down here. Here we go, Drifter Remains. Noxious Crust, Sulfur, and 3 Oxide. So, that would have been everything that we needed if we'd just taken care of it that way. Oh well. Alright, and then for the corn, I know a spot where corn should be. Uh, it's close out to where those two sort of low-level caves that we did early on are. Just sort of uh, a little bit northwest of where we are right now, so I'm going to head over there and see if we can't get the corn that we need to. Alright, and here it is, a nice gigantic patch of corn right next to that cave that we did earlier. Let's go ahead and snag some of this up. Alright, and that should be more than enough for what we need. Let's go back home and figure out what we're going to do in terms of farming now. And as I'm looking around, I remember that we haven't done our biofuel drills in quite some time, so those things are definitely empty. Let's go ahead and take care of those as well once we get back. Alright, and the other thing I was looking for out here uh, is not a jaguar, but tea leaves. So let's go ahead and grab these. We got the seeds that we needed, very awesome. Uh, but yeah, tea and coffee are definitely something that we're going to want to get going. Every time you take a sip of tea or coffee, it gives you a five minute buff. The tea gives you health regeneration and the coffee gives you stamina regeneration. So those are both extremely useful. All right, and as I'm just gathering some more fibers, I'm starting to think, you know, it's we're so far in right now, we have all the titanium in the world. Let's just get all of our tools upgraded to titanium. So let's get a titanium knife, Let's get a titanium sickle and let's get a titanium hammer going as well. Alright, we actually have everything that we need to craft up four vegetable pies just right out of the gate. Didn't get that many squash, but let's just go ahead and craft up four of these and stick them in our deep freeze for the time being. Okay, and we have everything that we need to get ourselves fully upgraded to a titanium knife, titanium sickle, and then let's also go for the titanium hammer while we're at it. That is awesome. Alright, let's get this stuff in our inventory here. Hammer. And knife. And we are fully kitted out. Complete and total kit of titanium gear. We got our obsidian armor. We got our obsidian armor upgraded. We are really, really starting to progress here. Alright, so we've expanded our farm quite a bit here. We got seven more plots working for us. Let's go ahead and get some of those new seeds added to our rotation here. Alright, and I think that's going to be good for now. I did three squashes. Squash are actually usually very slow to grow. Um, so I think having three of those is going to be good. And then two corns, two soybeans. That should be more than enough to start getting vegetable pies going.
And then let's also get ourselves another deep electric drill going here. Uh, I'm going to craft this up. Let's go out and refuel all of our biofuels and get another deep drill going for us. All right, and just like that, we have ourselves another deep drill. That is awesome. And then let's take a look at our talents as well here. I'm going to go ahead and get another point in Tis But a Scratch here, so more physical resistance for us. Then for our skill points here, I think I want to test out some focus fire with the shotgun. Reduced bullet spread. Hopefully this makes our shotgun shots a little bit tighter. Um, so let's grab this. Just one point for now. And then I'm going to put another point into reload speed as well. And that opens up the final level for us here. This how many shots perk is also very nice, but I think we can hold off on doing this um, for when we get some of the much more expensive ammo types. Right now we're just rocking the normal buckshot, so it's not super valuable to us. Let's start investing in our critical damage here, so our criticals will be doing much more damage. Our battery looks like it is slowly draining here, so let's go ahead, take a sleep, and in the morning head out into the arctic for our mining. Good morning everybody. It is a rough and stormy day this morning. We have a big lightning storm on our hands, so I think we're going to do a little bit of crafting as we wait for this storm to blow over, and then we'll head out and take care of our mining. Um, but I was looking at our options for the shotgun, and I think I want to go for the advanced narrow barrel attachment. This will give us plus 40% accuracy and an additional 25% critical damage with the shotgun. So let's go ahead and get this thing crafted up. So let's craft up the first part here. And then upgrade it to the advanced version. Awesome. Now let's get that in our shotgun. All right, that is huge. So we are ready to rip through anything that dares challenge us now. Uh, it looks like the lightning part of the storm has blown over. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> um, but with that taken care of, let's go ahead and drag a 20 mile long wire out to where we want to set up our electric drill. Alright, so we made it out to where I want to set up our electric drill. For now, I'm going to actually have it set up on clay here. Uh, there's an, also a silica node right over there. Um, I think we're going to be able to get by with our miasmic pickaxe as far as gathering silica goes. So for right now, I'm just going to start gathering some clay. Um, see if we can get this hooked up. Alright, so this isn't attached to our power network yet. I haven't dragged the wire at our base over to our power network. Uh, but that's all set up and ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to head back to the base, get that hooked up, make sure it's up and running, and then we'll go take care of our biofuel. I need to be remembering to run with a shotgun in my hands because we are 10% faster with the shotgun. So you can spot the difference. This is with the knife, and this is with the shotgun. It's a pretty visible difference, actually. That's awesome. Alright, so we should be hooked up on the drill. Let's just double check. Yes, we have two electric deep drills running. Such an awesome feature that they added this, so you, can, you know if your electrics are running or not. So, we got that up and running. Let's hop on our MOA and go take care of those biofuels now. Alright, here's our copper. Let's grab all of this and get it refueled. Titanium. And then I'm going to go grab our other titanium, and I'm going to actually move that one back onto gold. I think we are pretty set on titanium for a while. Just one of those biofuel drills should be more than enough for us at this point. Make sure we're taking advantage of our experience buffs while we have them up. 
All right, and then our last titanium. So we're going to take this and move it over to gold. Let's pick this baby up. And get it back down on our gold. Awesome. Looks like all our crops are finished growing. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get this loot inside of our smelters and come up with the game plan from there. So before we farm up all of those crops, I'm going to also get the advanced reaping attachment for our titanium sickle here. Awesome. Let's give this thing a whirl. So from the squash, 29 squash from a single harvest. Wow. This thing is crazy. So from just that one harvest, look at all the stuff we got. We got 98 strawberries from two plants, 40 corn, 38 mushrooms, 53 soybeans, 73 squash. We are just raking in the ingredients now. And then we're going to go ahead and craft up 16 more of these veggie pies. That'll give us two full stacks in our deep freeze. Just salt up one of the stacks here and get it in our deep freeze. So our deep freezer is pretty packed right now. We have a lot of just random ingredients in here. Uh, now that we're really just sort of raking in the crops, I might consider making a normal refrigerator and just reserving this uh, for the things I really don't want to spoil. Uh, but for the time being, I think we're fine. Feeling very good about that. We got our you know, three very powerful foods here, and then we can top ourselves off in our other two food slots with just uh, prime meat and uh, crispy bacon. So we will have all five of our slots taken care of that. We have a monster coming in. Let's just see how much experience we get if we have all of our buffs active here. Get the stringy meat and the bacon going too. We have all five buffs. Let's kill some of these big cats and see what we're looking at in terms of experience. Four thousand eight hundred from that one. And five thousand one hundred and eighteen from that one. That is awesome. Also, just look at our health and stamina bar with these foods on. This is just ridiculous. Like, you don't even need to worry about plyometrics at this point. You can just sprint normally, literally forever. Alright, and with all of those things taken care of, I think the last thing that I want to do today is let's go ahead and do one more operation here. We are really well geared. We are ready to just start cranking out our missions here. So this one is a very simple, straightforward mission. Um, you basically just head over to a cave and investigate that cave and we'll complete it. And that will give us the free uh, encoded signal upgrade item. So on Prometheus, you actually don't need to research or craft um, the infrasonic relay upgrade. We're going to get that for free right now. Uh, or the encrypted satellite, which is extremely, extremely expensive. So it's awesome that you get that for free here on Prometheus. Uh, but just keep that in mind. You don't want to, if you're going to be starting off on Prometheus, you can save your points because you don't need to actually craft these on Prometheus. Um, the other planets, uh, Olympus and Styx, you will have to actually craft these. But here on Prometheus, you get them for free. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and start this mission up. We've had an urgent one come through for you. Seems like Group 15 have a thief on their hands. Think you can catch him? I think so. Attention, Prospector. A manhunt is underway. Group 15 property has been stolen. The thief reported to be in your vicinity. You are the nearest contractor to the site. Further instructions will be relayed to you shortly via precursory methodology. Going offline. Clearing frequency. Did that damn AI just call me old? Did you hear that? Some brave soul decided to make off with Group 15 tech. Can't tell if that makes them crazy, brilliant, or 
Maybe just suicidal. Anyway, if you can find the missing gear, you'll probably get in the good books with the group. They seem to have a renewed interest in the area, for better or worse. One of their satellites okay. picked up a signal okay. from the stolen tech. Location marked on your map. Alright. So take a look at the map. This is that cave I was talking about. You basically just have to go straight in that cave and the mission will be over in, uh, in just a couple seconds. So This will be simple. Let's hop on our MOA. Uh, whichever one is looking healthiest. I have a hard time For some reason they're not. These creatures are native to Icarus or Earthies we messed up. We always figured there'd be a small impact on wildlife we introduced here. Hell, we resequenced their genes. Thank God there were no people down here when it happened. I'm getting stuck on this bridge for some reason. Sprint over it. Alright. Um, so yeah, that's like an interesting part of the lore. A lot of what people said early on is, you know, if you're on an alien planet, why are there bears and wolves and stuff? So, it seems like during the terraforming process they actually introduced the ecosystem so all of these animals came from earth uh, but kind of got mutated and changed into something a little bit more monstrous uh, but I always thought that was pretty interesting uh, but yeah with all that being said let's just head on over to that cave and knock this mission out we're coming up onto the drop pod this is the clone characters drop pod actually Oh, looks like we have a Terranus right by us. Get 1300 experience from him pretty quickly. And I also spotted some bacon. Almost 3000 experience from that guy. Alright, so here's that cave. You're going to need a few ramps to actually get up in there. Luckily we have four. That should be more than enough. How in the hell did we get a ping from in there? Well, hey, it's time to figure that out for yourself. Get up there and see what you can find. Oh. Messed up my build right there. Uh, alright. Don't quite have enough to do it that way, so... <laughs> Let's give these back. be able to get our MOA up on this. Okay. And so in this cave there's gonna be a bunch of sandworms and a giant sandworm. So we're gonna get our gun ready here. Good. Um uh, bad. You've got worms. Alright, here comes the big boy right there. That's all it takes. Nice and easy. So that giant worm, if you cross this bridge and don't know that it's going to spawn, it will destroy this whole bridge in one attack. Um, I am stuck. I can't defend my mower right now. Okay. Got nailed right there. 99% damage. And there's the level up. The giant worm is only 800 this experience there. For a while. Just look at this place. This was supposed to be an urgent op. We're hot on the heels of nothing. I'm surprised we even got a signal from this junk. Well, suppose it doesn't change the job. Better clean this place out. There's nothing in any of those crafting benches. You do have a little tiny shack over here. There is an ice box if you haven't researched the ice box yet. You could pick that up. Um, but here we go. This is what we're really after. This audio log. Alright. Um, that looks like all of it. Time to blast it back up to group 15. Start heading back to the site marked on your map. Might as well just grab that icebox for now. Uh, maybe we can use that as a temporary storage for some of our plants. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire mission. Very quick and simple. With this shotgun, we just one-shot those worms. That was awesome. Uh, just make sure there's nothing dangerous down there. Get our MOA down. Uh, 
and then just head over to the drop pod here, drop the audio log in. And then get our free contact device upgrade. See, here it is. You get this to totally for free here in Prometheus. And let's go head back and get that set up and complete this mission. And since we are on... Oh. The group doesn't disappoint. It'll give you access to the UDA mission requisition system while planet side. Go throw it in. All right. Yeah, so you get that totally for free here on Prometheus. Don't have to worry about crafting it. Uh, let's get that set up, stuck into our contact device, and complete this mission. And yeah, as I was saying, since we're on hard mode, you actually get more rewards than you would have if you were completing this on normal mode or easy mode. So we're about to get a pretty good windfall of Ren and Exotics from this. Alright, but before we get all that taken care of, let's just go ahead, take one last sleep. Our battery is draining pretty quickly, so let's make sure we get the sun out. And in the morning, we'll finish this mission off. Good morning, everybody. It is a nice and tranquil morning here on Prometheus. Let's go ahead and stick our infrasonic relay in and get this mission completed. Nice work. This should help us stay in touch in the future. Goddamn bot getting in the way, treating me like I'm obsolete. Cost saving beauty. Hey. Uh. All right. And just like that, we got our Ren, we got our exotics. We made a lot of progress today. We're already almost level 50. We have done quite a bit. So I think with that, I'm going to wrap it up for today. Alright, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody so much for watching um, and for all the support you're showing on the channel. You know, the, the channel is growing at just such a crazy rate right now. It's Every time I say a subscriber number, it ends up being wrong by the time I upload the video, so I'm not going to say <laughs> the number anymore, but just know that I'm extremely grateful for the support and you know, for hitting the subscribe button and, and for all your comments. It's been a ton of fun playing through the game so far. and. I hope you're all looking more forward to much more in the future. So, thank you as always, and until next time, goodbye.